Hello my dear students, how are you all? I hope you all are fit and fine at your home. Students, today we are going to do work in our book 4. And today we are going to do work on page number 3939. Before starting the work, I just want to tell you what we are going to do in this uh, uh, what we are going to do today. Today we are going to be introduced with a number that is 7. This is a new number. Till number 6 you can identify the uh, numbers and you can count the objects. Today I am just taking a new number that is number 7. See students, which number is this? This is number 7. Sleeping, slanting, 7. Which number is this? 7. 7. Okay, so what you have to do in this exercise, you have to count and say. What are these? These are beads and you have to count how many beads are here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. 7 beads are here. Okay, and which number is written over here? 7. Let's count the dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. 7 dots are here. Okay, so uh, let me tell you what we are going to do. Today we are going to trace the number 7. What we are going to do today? Trace the number 7. That is on page number 3939. Just tilt your textbook and start the work. See, some arrows are there which are indicating the direction of number 7. First of all, you will make sleeping line, then you will make slant line. Fine. So, we will start from the dot. We will start from here. Sleeping. Slanting. 7. 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 See students, this is our work. We had made number 7. Please don't make like this, like this, like this. This is the correct formation of writing number 7. You have to follow this. This is wrong and this is also wrong. Fine. You will make sleeping then slanting line. This is the correct formation. I hope it's clear to you. You have to do in a same manner. And after completing this work, send this work on the Google Classroom app. Thanks for watching. Now we will meet in another video.